Justice for Shelly, everyone please. Justice for Shelly. Kathy DeVersa, the mother of Shelly Stamp, pleading to the court for a stronger sentence as she stands just feet away from her daughter's killer, Heather Anderson. She killed my daughter with her bare hands by strangling and or suffocating her. She left her to die on the floor in a puddle of her own blood while the beast ransacked her apartment. Last October, prosecutors say Anderson and her co-defendant, Shannon Gritzbach, pulled up to Stamp's Newberry Street apartment as Shelley was coming home from her third job. The state says Gritzbach stayed in the car while Anderson followed Shelley, strangling her with her own shirt before ransacking the apartment. Indeed, Miss Stamp um, had no prior contact as far as we know with uh, either party involved in this case. She was unfortunately randomly attacked and was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Waterbury State's attorney says video evidence shows Anderson going in and out of the apartment for more than an hour, leaving with Shelly's shoes, wallet, and leftover spaghetti from her fridge. After the murder, prosecutors say Anderson spent Shelly's money on food and gas. The motive for that attack was a robbery, which is why this is being charged as a felony murder. Gritzback has since been released on misdemeanor charges. In court Wednesday, through tears, Anderson quietly pleaded guilty to Shelley's murder. Please accept it. Finding the guilty one address the charge of felony murder to a felony. The deal coming with a 30 year prison sentence, not enough for Shelley's family. There's absolutely no justice in 30 years. It's an insult to my daughter's life. A life they're trying their best to live without, dealing with an emptiness they'll never fill. There's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't think of her a million times. And there's not a night that I don't try to fall asleep without the pictures in my head about how she died. A daughter, sister, aunt, educator, and friend to many who will never be forgotten. The light of our life is just gone. In Waterbury, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.